I returned a lost wallet last night, and the owner accused me of stealing it. What's your worst no good deed goes unpunished story, Reddit. Last night, my friends and I found a woman's wallet on the sidewalk in downtown Athens, Georgia. The driver's license had an AIM and EOB, and she had a University of Georgia student card. We looked her up in the UGA directory and called her to return the wallet. She was grateful, and we felt like heroes. Well, guess what? She showed up to meet us with her tough guy boyfriend, who smelled like a brewery, and accused us of stealing it. They tried to interrogate us for 5 minutes straight, as we attempted to hand them the wallet and leave. It was so bizarre. We were baffled. We're 6 well dressed UGA alumni and students, 2 females, 4 males, some in their 30s, working professionals, who had driven to meet her voluntarily to return the wallet. And she thought we were the thieves? It was unreal. They claimed $500 was missing from the wallet. Our immediate response, you carry $500 around, in your wallet? The boyfriend became irate, and screamed, yeah all ain't going nowhere till I find out which one of you duckin fags took it. Exact quote. Again, there were six of us there and one of him. Needless to say we weren't intimidated. The girlfriend looked scared. I defused the situation, separated everyone, and got the hell out of there. Ever do something nice that not only goes unappreciated, but you actually suffer for it? Tell me. What's your best, no good deed goes unpunished story? I found a dog, Pitbull, wandering in my neighborhood along a busy street. I hopped out of my car, and put my dog's spare collar on him to keep him from being hit. I walked all the nearby houses, and knocked on the doors asking if anybody belongs to the dog or if they knew who did. After about 10 houses I gave up, and took him home. That afternoon I made found dog flyers, without the dog's picture, about 100 in all, and put up the around area. In front of my house I put a big one, so people would know that this was the place. After a few days I had pretty much resigned myself to keeping the guy, when I got a phone call. The lady gave a perfect description of the dog, and I told her she could swing by and pick him up. About an hour later she shows up, with the cops. She gets out of her car and greets me with, are you the asshole that stole my dog? I was of course taken aback. I stood there with a slack jaw not knowing what to say. I asked you a question. Did you steal my dog? What? No. I found a dog and tried to find his home. You stole him and I have witnesses. She then tried to get the officer to arrest me. It only took a few moments for the officer to realize she was crazy. So, he stole your dog, asked all your neighbors who the dog belonged to, put up signs saying he had a dog, and then invited you over to take the dog back. Either he's the worst criminal in the world, or you don't understand the definition of stole ma'am. She then claimed I stole the dog for the reward money. The officer said he didn't see an offer for a reward nor did I ask for one. But just out of curiosity, how much reward money were you going to offer? Asked the officer, $200. That's what he wants, that's why he took the dog. Well, we have no evidence of him stealing the dog, but it seems to me that he's earned the reward money. Worst $200 I ever earned. I live in an area with fairly low priced rentals, so it's full of college kids and people who are of lower incomes. I was at the corner store, and the family in front of me had a case of beer. A 12 pack of coke, a few packs of cigarettes, chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese, and some milk. Their debit card got denied, so they took out the milk. Got denied again, took out the chicken. Got denied again, took out the mac and cheese. Finally got approved, so they were going home with beer, coke, and cigarettes. Their two kids, maybe 4 and 6, asked what they were having for dinner if they didn't have the chicken nuggets. The mom's response was, you can drink coke, it's got calories. The younger kid started crying for the chicken nuggets. The mom grabbed her by the arm and told her she wasn't getting any dinner. I bought their chicken nuggets and ran after them. I tried to give them the box, and the mom started screaming at me, do we look like a ducking charity case, I can raise my own ducking kids, you don't know what it's like being a mom, and tons of other bullshit. I was like, just take the goddamn chicken your kids are hungry. The woman hit the box out of my hands, 
and she and her man grabbed the kids and stormed away. I wish I'd followed them and called child protective services or something. Caution. This one is sad. My uncle's best friend is a man named Terry. Terry was a large man, and quite the bruiser. In the mid 90s Terry was at a local dive bar, when he hears a man screaming at a woman. He really rips into spewing obscenities loudly across the bar. Terry steps in, tells the guy to keep it down, or take it home, nobody wants to hear their problems. The girl runs off to the bathroom crying, and the man apologizes to Terry telling him, sorry man, I just found out she cheated on me. The guy promises to keep it down, and Terry walks away. When the girl comes back from the bathroom the yelling resumes, and the guy hauls off and hits her. The girl runs off and Terry comes charging over to give the man an ultimatum. Terry offers to kick the shit out of the guy, or let him walk out on his own. The guy chooses the latter. A couple minutes pass and the bar phone rings, a call for Terry. Terry picks up the phone and almost instantly drops to the floor in agony. The man went across the street to pay phone, called the bar, asked for Terry, then snuck back in and stabbed him three times in the back, making him a paraplegic. The guy took off running, but was caught a month or so later in Florida, the girl was still there to identify him. Terry is, and always will be in a wheelchair, paralyzed from the waist down. All for standing up for a girl who was getting beat up by her boyfriend. I found a wallet outside on a patio by the smokers area, at a bar one time. So, as a smoker, I just hung out outside and asked everyone that came back out if they lost their wallet. One girl was like, OMG, I did. I asked her to describe it, she did, and I pulled it out, and she was like, you? You took my ducking wallet? I said, no, it was sitting on that bench right there, figured it was better if I try to find the owner than just let it sit there on a busy Friday night. She said, I have every right to call the cops. I just said, wow, try to do a nice thing for someone and threw her wallet into the parking lot and went back inside the bar. Threw her wallet into the parking lot and went back inside the bar. Did anything happen after that? She called me a faggot, and told the bouncer to throw that guy out, because I stole her wallet. The bouncer was standing on the patio the whole time and saw the freak out, and even the bouncer just said, he was only trying to help. And then just ignored her ranting. I went inside and never heard or saw anything of her again. Stop a man beating a woman at a bar. Instead the woman started to hit me along with a guy. Then at the end, the man beat the woman again saying he didn't need her help. In line at 7-eleven behind an elderly woman. She pays for her things and leaves. There's a banana sitting on the counter. Cashier looks up and calls out, Miss, your banana, but she doesn't hear. I bolt after her and catch up quickly, hey I think you left your banana inside. She turns to me and glares. I didn't want the banana you little shit, and continues walking away. Free banana. Found a cell phone in the middle of the street. Nobody was around, so I figured I should check the contacts to find out who owns. Figured home was a safe bet. I call and start talking after they pick up, only to be torn apart by the owner's mom, who thinks that I've stolen it. Apparently the phone was lost the day before, and they were looking. Anyways, the dude who owned it gave me $30 for returning it, and $10 for dealing with his mom. So, my good deed was punished but I got a reward for being punished. I'm a female education major, and I work part time at a retail store in the mall. A little boy of about 3 left his mother and was running into the crowded food court, and it was Black Friday in my low income area, so, there were a lot of ducking people. I yelled for his mom. But she was in the dressing room, so I ran out and grabbed him before he could get lost in the crowd of people. When I walked back in the store, the woman charged at me, as I explained that he had run out of the store, there was no way she didn't know what I was doing, took the kid out of my hands, grabbed my ponytail, got in my face, and screamed at me for touching her son. Then she went into a rant about how white people need to stop trying to save black babies and that the white man didn't know what was best for black kids. Her speech was strewn with profanity, and she was yanking my hair the whole time. My boss called security, but was otherwise useless, and not a single customer did anything. 
I didn't fight back because she had a child in her arms, she was larger, and people in the area have been known to carry knives. Anyway, a security guard showed up. She was later arrested and faced assault charges. I was at a bar in Boston, and noticed there was a backpack under my table. I open it to find a new MacBook Pro, and a few architecture books with a Northeastern College sticker on it. I went through the items looking for a name or some sort of way to identify the owner, but found nothing. I really didn't want to give this to the bouncer, because I knew it would probably disappear, but after about 30 minutes I turned it into the bartender who put it behind the bar. Fast forward an hour later, and this girl comes through the door, walks over to where I was, and starts looking all around, just keeps saying, where is my backpack, over and over. I say, hey, I just gave it to the bartender. Saying nothing she pushes my girlfriend out of the way and rushes to the bar demanding her backpack. Bartender turns it over, then she opens it to inspect the contents. When she realizes it's all there, she just turns and walk out. No thank you. Nothing. TLDR, I could be typing this on a new MacBook Pro. A buddy of mine blew the motor in his truck. I knew of a range in 200 miles away that would be a good replacement. So, I drive there, pay $250 for it, load in my truck, and drive back. I leave the motor at the local shop, and it gets put in the truck. One week later he sells the truck, and never pays me for the motor. I captured a pit bull puppy in my backyard, when it was chasing some workmen back there, and frankly it needed to not be running loose in my neighborhood. He had tags, so I called the phone number, left voicemail, hung out with the puppy for a bit, gave him water, etc. Tried again, left voicemail. Can't sit here playing with the puppy all day, though I wish I could. Called animal control. Oh, where is that Jax? Can you bring him in? We have a seizure warrant if he's found unleashed again. Indicating the owners regularly let him out without supervision. I felt bad, but called the owner's number again and left voicemail, letting them know that Jax would be at the pound, and they could pick him up there. Took him to the pound, this was a super sweet pup, by the way, who totally deserved much better humans. 15 minutes after I get home, they knock on my door demanding to know where the dog is. Then they tell me, I shouldn't have done anything with their dog, um, on my property, bothering people, and how would I like it if someone took my dog to the pound? Well, ma'am. I'd be grateful for them making sure my dog was safe. My dog isn't allowed to roam around without a leash. I shut the door in her face and never looked back. <laughs>